Well, good, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, you may remember back in August when I opened up the West Art Local Historic Group um, First World War Commemoration Exhibition. Uh, bad back and all, if you remember, I was struggling with a bad back. I'm still yeah. not right with that, but I'm better than I was. I said how impressed I was and how proud I was when it came to West Orton's local history group and all the hard work and dedication over the years they put in, <clears throat> remembering all the past of our town and how, what a privilege it is to know there's such an active group with, amongst our uh, community. We've now been privileged to um, award the West Orton local history group a certificate of achievement which I'll now hand over to this gentleman here for all his thank you. work. Thank you very much. And uh, don't forget to um, thank <laughs> that one. And that's it. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you uh, very, very impressive because we've got so much material and so many helpers. Uh, first of all, quite a number of the ladies spent hours and hours in the uh, Bolton History Museum getting information about the fallen soldiers. Uh, <coughs> and uh, Pammy found a lot of information from the Wingate's Messenger, which was quite uh, interesting for a lot of people. And uh, Val had information about her grandfather. So that a lot of people contributed in different directions. And then, of course, we had the uh, materials that people donate or loaned, not donated, <laughs> in the uh, display cabinets. And that it did make it a, a very, very uh, impressive um, <coughs> uh, exhibition, even though I say it myself. We've enjoyed doing it. We've enjoyed doing it, and uh, we've set ourselves rather a high standard <laughs> to, to match in the future. Thank you once Thank again. You very much indeed. Very Thank you. Town Council, ladies and gentlemen, can I just say, um, when I came round this exhibition, I, I, it was such a magnificence and so much work had been done that, um, you know, you, you couldn't help but be amazed and it's a credit to the town. I mean, West Orton is very privileged to have such an active and keen um, local history society. It has a, a great depth of history and heritage, West Orton, and we couldn't have a better group, actually, who's researched it and brought it. There's not only the magnificent uh, World War I exhibition, which many hundreds of people came through to watch, but they've also, if you remember, in, in, in 2010, they, they did the, um, commemorated the Pretoria Pit disaster. Then two years later, they actually did the burning of the mill. And, you know, we had Tommy Newton there running around with his lighted torch, <laughs> enjoying himself, taking him back to his youth, youth days. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, there's that and many other things. They've, they've done the town trail and uh, not only doing exhibitions, but they actually uh, do go into the local schools and they bring to the attention and get the young people involved in it so that they're aware of the... Uh, great histor historical heritage of West Orton um, and of course it culminated in this wonderful exhibition which they have done for World War One, where it showed West Orton in the World War One era of not only on the home front but also on the battlefield and you can't but say praise and it should be recognised all they've done and I, I, I thought well the, the town council have it in the uh, merit to actually award a certificate of achievement and there's no greater group that I know of that doesn't really, uh, really uh, recognise this and they've done wonderful and should be rewarded for it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.